Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and Happy New Year. I just wanted to pop on really quick and tell you guys what my 2022 hair goals are because I realized that even though in my last video, which I was sharing that I have a new luxury hair care brand, what my main hair goal was for 2022, I didn't really go into any more detail. So that's what I want to do for this video, but I do want to keep it brief because there's not too many. So if you don't already know, my main goal for this year is to finally reach full waist length, okay? Full waist length. And so I want all of my hair to reach my waist. Right now, and I'll try to turn around and show you, but right now the longest layer of my hair touches my waist, but none of my other hair really is there yet. And so by the end of 2022, I would like all my hair to be there. That's like my big goal. And then we'll see where I go from there, but that's where I want to be. So let me turn around and show you real quick. So hopefully you can see that, and if not, I'll have to insert a picture, but that's kind of where the longest layer, one of the longest layers of my hair reaches. So there you have my main goal. Now another goal that I have is that I want to finally have a consistent hair regimen, which I am finally there. As you guys know, one of the main themes for 2021 was like this whole water only washing thing, which I actually liked, but I did feel like something was missing. And so I tweaked some things and then I found that one of the missing components was this product here. I still really like this product. It's the Silk Element Strength and Silk Cholesterol. And one of the deep conditioners that I used to use, I actually don't like it for my hair anymore. Even though I like how my hair feels, I just feel like it tingles my hair too much. And so I just ditched it. And so that's it. So right now my regimen kind of looks like this. So let's say that I'm coming out of a protective style, which is the most common way that I have my hair, which is the six plaits. I'll take a plait down. I'll wet that section of hair. I'll go in with my silk elements, okay? And then on top of that, I'll put my butterfly secrets. And then I'll twist it up, like break the roots, twist up the ends. And then I'll put that under a heat cap for about 30 minutes to an hour, depending on what's going on. And then I'll rinse it out. And then like every other wash day or so, I'll actually shampoo my hair and when I shampoo my hair guys it's just a little bit like maybe a quarter size amount and I'll shampoo the roots and rinse it out and be done I don't really like shampoos that lather a lot I don't really find it necessary to use a lot of shampoo for my hair because I don't put a lot of products in my hair and so yeah the only time I really like shampoo my hair like thoroughly is if I'm going to flat iron or I'm coming out of a flat iron but other than that, I don't, okay? So once I rinse that out, then I just blow dry my hair with my Revair. And so I use a couple of different products. The most common that I use though is this Beyond the Zone Crystal Crush Blow Dry Cream or I'll use the Shea Moisture Blow Dry Cream and then I'll follow up with my Butterfly Secrets again on my strands. And then on my scalp, I do use my Butterfly Tears. Okay, and so I'll do that, blow dry with my Revere, and then if I'm going to like actually style it or put in a protective style, then I'll go in with my curl enhancing smoothie and I'll set my hair with that. And that is it. When it comes time to re-moisturize my hair, say it's in a protective style, I'll wet my hair depending on how it feels. I'll just wet it and go in with my Butterfly Secrets. I apply my butterfly tears to my scalp pretty much every day and then if I really feel like I need to add more moisture to my hair I'll wet my hair first and then I'll put the curl enhancing smoothie and then I'll follow up with my butterfly secrets and so that's pretty much how my regimen is now but what I've noticed is that because I am trying to record more content since I have my hair care business now, Bella Gora, and I do have a TikTok and I do try to post reels, which if you want to follow me on Instagram or TikTok, my Instagram is Bella Gora and my TikTok is Hey Bella Gora. And I'll post the links in the description box just so you can easily click it and follow me. So anyways, I've noticed that 
I have to kind of like do bulk content because I don't really like having to fuss in my hair too much. I feel like it just causes issues, it throws off my regimen. And so like today is a recording day because my hair is out. I just washed it yesterday. And so I'm trying to find ways to still put out enough content without jeopardizing my hair because to me it's not worth it <laughs> but yeah I'm just trying to find some balance in that. My other hair goal is that I'm going to try not to flat iron my hair at all this year. Last year I think I only flat ironed it a few times because um, if you guys watched a previous video that I did about a new hair journey and basically becoming a blow dry natural. That's when I stopped flat ironing my hair so much, but I was still flat ironing my hair, just not that often. But for this year, I'm going to try to go the whole year without flat ironing my hair because like this is on blow dried hair and I think it looks fine. I just installed my pillow rollers with the snaps. Boom, here we go. And it looks good, it feels good, you know. It still has a lot of movement. And so um, I'm okay with this. I don't mind this at all. And so I'm gonna try to just stick with blow drying my hair, which I pretty much do every wash day. Um, it's very rare that I don't blow dry my hair, but it's not always necessary. But I do find that I tend to gravitate towards just blow drying my hair because I like to keep it in a stretched state. Um, but yeah, so we'll see how that goes. And then my last goal is that I want to grow out that very, very bottom layer of my nape that got left out. If you've been following my nape journey, you know that I was able to grow my nape out, but there was a small little line in the back that got left out. And so I thought about this in November that I was going to try to grow it back out the same way that I grew that layer right above it out. And so that layer, I wish I could pull it out, but it's too hard, but it's grown out even past the last um, nape update that I've done. Um, but anyways, yeah. And so let me try to show you. So here is the new piece of nape that I'm trying to grow out. I have three rubber bands and let me see if I can wash that out. Yeah. So I have three rubber bands in my hair. If you guys follow my nape journey, you know that the easiest way for me to start is to rubber band the hair once it grows out because keeping it separated keeps it from kind of tangling on itself or it keeps me from having the urge to just shave it. And so I'm trying to catch that very bottom layer and I'll insert a picture so you guys can have a better look. But I am super excited to grow it out. It's already grown so much since November when I first started trying to grow it out again. And so yeah, so those are all my hair goals. Hopefully you guys will stay subscribed to my channel or subscribe if you haven't already and follow my journey as I try to reach waist length, establish a regimen, not flat iron my hair, and grow out this nape, the last layer of my nape, so that all my hair can be grown out and I can finally wear like updos maybe and feel comfortable with that. And so yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video very soon. Bye guys.